What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today, we have some Door of the Void action from the original night of the live stream. So, we kind of stumble our way through it, see what's going on. This is more or less our first look. You guys have probably already seen a little bit more of a guide out before this, but just in case you haven't, check out the gameplay, check out to see how it works. Hopefully, you guys can do good in this PPE mode as well. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not just yet. We're almost, almost to our next sub goal. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time. Okay, now that we have broken spaces done, we're going to get maximum gold, spirit, chaos stone, all the stuff. 15% more from the Realms Gate. So it's time to look at the PVE mode. Void Corrosion, we're bumping it up to 10. It should be pretty easy if you have full E5 teams for now. Void inventory is where your temporary buffs are going to be going. Smashing it takes a long time. It's like four hours for all 240, I believe. You can also plan your path for the smash if you want, but we're just going to jump in. We're going to be facing some light heroes here. Little, little time map here. Anything special for us? Any special things? No, it doesn't look like it. No. No. Looks like there's five battles, though, so let's jump into it. Um, Yeah, let's just do our go-to. Just always use. We'll do a couple fights. Some of these we might skip on through, since a lot of you guys might have already seen a lot of these fights with uh, Jimmy's videos. But, uh, yeah, these heroes, these enemies are really weak. <laughs> these are very, very weak. So we're going to get 250 of this per fight. Of course, it scales up with the difficulty that you get, but every layer you clear, I believe, you get an additional difficulty that you can do. We'll kind of just skip through these because none of these are really going to be anything special. We'll uh, we'll pause for like the important fights. So as you notice, every one of these fights is costing five energy right here. Right here, once you finish all everything on the map, you got to look around too because there's sometimes chests, things like that around the map that you can make purchases on. I don't think there's anything here that you can actually purchase, right? Nothing hidden, nothing like that. You can finally click on the portal, teleport out. Now this is where you have an, some options. So this one, you can tell by the ring what color the ring is, is what faction you're fighting. So this one right here. We've detected stable void energy that has been shaping the crystalline. Let's be honest. We're just going to go for any special nodes. That sounds good to me. Hey, it's pretty much the same map, but we got this special little crystal in the middle here. Ooh, it vibrates. What do we get? What do we get? Transforms all of void phantoms in this area into training puppets. Interesting. Training puppets can be difficult. So let's just smash these out. I think we'll use it on a different one that has maybe more bosses to fight. Yeah, these are going to be really, really easy for us to do so far. Okay, should we go to the mystery? Although there's a chest here. Or is the chest up here? I think we go to the mystery, right? Do we go to the, the mystery? Jimmy's post tells you which places on the big map to target. Yeah, there's certain ones. There's certain ones you definitely want to take. Void treasure, mining cave, crystal, regular treasure. Yeah. Ignore the chest. Go for mining ones. Yeah, mining, it sounds like, is the best overall, so. Um, I think I want to go, like, I think I want to go, like, up here and then down and over. Idol ruins aren't as imp idols are the uh, the permanent buffs for your run, right? I'm pretty sure. You have to purchase the chest before the portal opens, not just clear the waves. Yeah. Check if they're void. What do you mean? Chests are useless for light late game. Not all chests. Some of them are very good. You have to go down if you want the mine. But you can't, like, come over this way. Hmm. Interesting. So you can't, like... Ah, 
I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You can't go that way if you want the mine. You'd have to go like this, essentially. Hmm. Is that better than doing the question mark, I guess? You can only move to the right. You can't move, like, down. Yeah. Be sure to be max corruption at the very end, at least. Yeah. Yeah, every time you finish a lair, you can uh, go back. I mean, top has a chest, too, but bottom has a chest, and you get the mining. But it has two question marks. So I'm just, I'm going for the top. I think I'm going to go top. We're going to just experience this together, guys. Ooh, there's a big puppet. Big puppet. What else do we got up here? What else do we got? We got the exit. We got a puppet up here. Just two big puppets. All right. So these, I have not looked too much into the puppets at all. All right. Magic Corrosion. Do as long exposure to void. The ritual of trials eroded by void energy, which enables the trial puppets to rest rain magic effects against themselves at the end of each round it will dispel a debuff okay all right um let's just go in with our squad and see what happens to start the question mark can be good but the mines will be good good to know good to know I mean, it seems like we probably won't have too many issues we should probably throw in like a drake for these waves though I mean, it doesn't look like we really need to worry about it, but just aren't worth it. They cost 10 and can be nothing. Yeah, it can be it can be something really good or it can be something really bad. Yeah, th these puppets aren't going to do that much. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to be much of a competition right there whatsoever. So that's fine. That one's dead. Goodbye. Let's go up to the other one. Is it different? Nope, they're the same there too. Uh, we can just skip the battle. It, it's, it's easy enough. No point really wasting time. Void corrosion. Yeah, you can't go up past 10 at all. All right, let's get going. So here's something we could do. So this one has what? One, two, three, four, five targets. What we could do and just have some fun is use the crystal of the puppet. Should we do that? Why not? Let's just play around with it. So we got all these puppet waves now. An ordinary harmless training pu puppet. Why is it placed here? Is there really any advantage of doing that? Like, it's extremely easy just because we're on a very easy mode. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we'll just go through. We'll finish these puppet fights. All right, that's easy, 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 easy. Uh, I hope, I can't wait to actually upgrade the difficulties on these. All right, so here we got it, here we got it. First check if any treasure is the void version. If so, go for that. All right, sounds good. So, hidden treasure. All right, let's, let's see what this is in here. Got a couple enemies here. We got the chest. Let's see what's in it. One profit orb for 10 energy. One scroll for 10 energy. Okay, the scroll sounds really bad. Profit orb. Probably don't care about the profit orb on an account like this. I mean, right? We, we probably just don't care about it whatsoever. Oh, it actually makes you... It makes you open them interesting all right that's why chests aren't necessarily the best things to go for okay that's interesting to know so actually that can hinder progress I see what you mean then doing the actual chest ones can actually slow you down good to know all right that's interesting but if they're void chests void treasure is what you want Land of the treasure is not the same as void treasure. Understood. So we only had land of the treasure. We didn't have any void treasures. Okay. Good to note. Good to know. All right. So on to the trial of a puppet. We got a boss here. Where's where's the big boss? There's the big boss. A couple other targets to kill off first. 
We'll just beat them up. Beat them up too. All right, let's see. I imagine this one's not going to be difficult. We'll take a look though. This is the quad version. I mean, they would have done decent damage, but... Different symbol. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that was a really easy boss fight. <laughs> good resources, though. Definitely good resources. All right. Move on. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish a whole entire wave here, are we? Or, I mean, a whole lair in one go. I don't know if we're going to have enough energy for that. We're getting low. We're getting low on energy. I feel like we're not going to have enough right off the bat. My small contribution to the Void Whale. Keep up the great work, Barry. Oh, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for that sub. Two months, tier one, amazing. Oh, if only there was like a plus symbol here that you could just hit and like buy for gems or something. Buy energy with money. Yeah, if only. If only. <laughs> All right, just on to more mobs here. Clear these out. Clear them out. Oh, we're down to 61. It's getting low. So these that, like, you don't really have to spend time looking around, I don't think, either in these normal mob waves, just because I don't think there's anything special that can drop, if I'm correct. I think. How much did you spend for Shia? We spent everything. All right, let's see what's in here. Got a chest. Ooh, I like this one. This one is nice. This this chest right here is worth it, in my opinion. It's worth... Like, see, that's the gamble, is some splanted chests are really good. This is one of them. Oh, no. It's a trap. It's a trap. Amongst all the Fenny Creatures Void, one type are good special. Camouflaging. Ah, okay. All right. We'll watch this fight. Those are some freaky-looking creatures. They are some eyeball, long-armed chest monsters. And we get that. That's really good. 4,600. Ooh, there's three chests. This is going to take a lot of range. Oh, my goodness. Seriously? Oh. Is the last one going to be the same thing? Oh, my. Oh. Wow. We just got, like, 13, 14,000. I mean, that cost a lot of energy, but I think that was a high roll right there. That was beyond a high roll. Oh, we're going to be so close to finishing the lair up right now. We're going to have to finish it tomorrow. Oh, feels bad. Feels bad. Oh, no, we're done. We're going to be stuck in here. Doily with a rate of 12. Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah, we're stuck in here. We need to wait. We need to wait. What do you get it? You get one every six minutes, so... 18 minutes, yeah. I want, I want to fight. I want to fight. But sadly, that's where we're going to have to pause for right now. Almost through layer one. Once we do finish layer one, we'll be able to go to void 11, which will be nice. But I think we high rolled that kind of good. Thank you.